in this class we'll discuss about right hand rule right hand rule is one of the important thing now let's understand in this way now as we know that we have a coordinate system we have to follow one standard coordinate system in electromagnetics all the books which we follow we follow the right hand coordinate system let's understand what is a right hand coordinate system if i mark an x axis in this direction and y axis in this direction now we know that the z has to be perpendicular to x and it has to be perpendicular to y right so it can be i'm talking about plus z so the plus z can either go inside the board right it can go either inside the board or it can come outside the board right so we don't know which is plus z direction right so in order to conclude that when we'll solve a problem on electromagnetics we have to find the plus z direction minus z direction we have to take care of all that right so we're going to use the right hand so we're going to use the right hand coordinate system right now let's understand what is right hand coordinate system if i take my right hand and make the thumb four finger and middle finger perpendicular to each other now you can observe that right this is what i'm making right now this all three should be perpendicular to each other what right hand coordinate system says that your four finger should point in a direction of x axis your middle finger should point in a direction of y axis and your thumb should point in a direction of z axis what i'm saying is your four finger should point in a direction of x axis right your middle finger should point in a direction of y axis and thumb should point in a direction of z axis so this is what is called as right hand coordinate system and remember all three has to be perpendicular with each other right so you can see that all three are perpendicular to each other okay so we have understand the right hand coordinate system let's understand the right hand coordinate system in electromagnetic waves there is another principle what it says that whenever about an electromagnetic magnetic wave your four finger for an em wave for an em wave your four finger should point in a direction of electric field your four finger should point in a direction of e field your again middle finger should point to the direction of magnetic field which is nothing but let me call as an h field and your thumb should point in the direction of propagation right so what it says is nothing but if i take again the right hand the four finger should point in the direction of electric field your middle finger should point in the direction of magnetic field and your thumb should point in the direction of propagation right so what we have understand is right hand coordinate system which says that your x y z is nothing but your this is x this is y and this is my z if i talk about electromagnetic wave my four finger should be pointing along the variation of your variation of electric field your middle finger should point in the variation of h field and thumb should point in the direction of propagation of wave let's understand this by a simple problem now let me take a simple wave which is very common equation e is equal to e not cos omega t minus beta z a x cap this is a simple equation which we have already seen in the previous videos now what we know about this equation the the wave is propagating in which direction plus z direction and the variation of electric field is along the x direction right 
So another way understanding is if the wave is traveling like this, this is how it is varying, right? How the electric field is varying like this, right? So this is x axis and this is my z axis. So it is propagating in z direction, but the variation of electric field component is along the x axis, right? Okay. Now, so if I have to find the what would be the direction of magnetic field. I do not know what would be the direction of magnetic field. Let me write like this cos omega t minus again the direction of propagation will be beta z. I do not know the what would be the direction of propagation. The another way of finding is applying the pointing theorem right. We can apply the pointing theorem and we can find the direction of the direction of magnetic field because I already know the direction of propagation which is nothing but this plus z axis and variation of electric field along the plus x axis. So, how I can apply the, the right hand rule to find this? Let us let me know that if I mark this as z axis, if I mark this as an x axis, this is randomly I am marking the axis. Let us understand this. Now, I know that what I know that the if this is my coordinate, this is my z and this is my x, where would be my y pointing? Let us see by right hand rule where it will be pointing. So, what I am saying that my thumb should point in the direction of my thumb should point in the direction of z axis. So, this is my z axis. My forefinger should point in the direction of it, it should be in direction of x axis. If I do like this, can I say that my middle finger is pointing outward, right? Right? Thumb is pointing in the z axis the forefinger is pointing in the x axis, then my middle finger is pointing outward, right. So, can I say that y axis is out of board, right, y axis is out of board. Now, again we can apply the same right hand rule in the EM wave also. So, I know that the E field is along the x axis, right. So, we know that my forefinger should point in the direction of electric field, right. So, my this is let us say that this is direction of electric field and this is the direction of propagation, right. Same way you see the electric field is varying along the x axis. So, I have put like this. This is the direction of propagation, right. So, I have put like this. So, where is my magnetic field going? The middle finger is again the pointing in a direction of magnetic field, which is again going outward, right. So, H field is outward or I can say that out of the board. So, can I say that if H field is also pointing outward, my y axis is also pointing outward, can I say that my magnetic field is nothing but parallel to y axis, right. So, it means that my H naught will be pointing along A y cap, right. 